I want to share something with you all about people touching you in church. Sometimes they touch you and find out what your plans are. And they'll make a mention of them like they're prophesying to you. But it's really being nosy. Okay. So, or using their uh, psychic abilities to get information and make you think they're prophesying to you. Sometimes it's a confirmation, but it's a confirmation that's not from the Lord. The Lord's confirmations are different. Okay, impartation is one thing, but laying hands and making contact with someone oftentimes can yield information because the person is open at the time. So what we need to understand is that all psychics are different. A lot of them need you to talk to them, breathe on them to be able to give you information. Other people need to touch you, you know, to tap in and you have to be prayed or went in worship tremendously because then your system is open to their connecting with your spirit when your spirit is connected to your mind mind body and soul so when you're open like that people can detect things so be very careful you know and ask God to close those channels about binding the adversaries weaponry of seeking knowledge from you in this manner and loosing the spirit of protection around you which is the heavenly host of god to interrupt the interception of interpretation of what's going on in your life we'll always look at psalms 27 and let hell know it has no sting and death we show we word about you okay so basically i just said that this morning because I experienced something on yesterday, but it was, you know, it's okay. Another confirmation, another hindrance. But the Lord just told me, you know, you know your priorities. You know what you need to take care of. Take care of those first, and then come back to that, because that will always be there. Uh, but cover yourself in the blood. And, you know, God leaves us beside the steel water, Psalms 23, Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 8. You know, praying always for all saints in prayer. And, and understanding that Techaris, a beloved, faithful minister in the Lord, brings us comfort. You know, and we don't have to work on a prophecy. Prophecies unfold. And God says, my yoke is easy. Easy and adds no sorrow. No man comes up to the Father, but by me, John 14. I say that. <laughs> to protect yourself against any psychic abilities. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 91, Psalms 128, verse 2. Let's go to work, saints, for the glory of God. Being ministers of the Lord, Jeremiah 3, 15. In repentance, Psalms 51. Back to Psalms 91 again. I'm looking at um, Genesis 12 and 3. Any man that curse you, I curse him. Any man that bless you, bless you. Uh, I bless them that bless you. Curse them that curse you. All right. All right. Amen. Let's stay proper, guys. Let's stay proper. I'm, I'm thinking of Psalms 35 and verse 27. God desires to bless the people for providing that we the praises and things of that nature. Um, but really, we need to understand that God is always with us. He's omnipresent. Omnipresent in the words of Apostle Richard Danny Hinton. Amen.